ओके वेलकम यू ऑल टू द न्यू सेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग वेरियस एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स दे आर कंप्यूटर एडेड डिजाइन प्रेजेंटेशन ग्राफिक्स कंप्यूटर आर्ट एंटरटेनमेंट एजुकेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग विश्वलाइजेशन एंड इमेज प्रोसेसिंग we will be learning each of these application in detail first we will be learning presentation graphics so what is a presentation graphics presentation graphics is used to represent data either by means of a powerpoint presentation or a bar chart or a pie chart so i can represent data either using a ppt powerpoint presentation or a bar chart or a pie chart if i am using any these three kinds of representation then it is known as a presentation graphics so if i am using powerpoint presentation to represent data it will be the data will be presented before the audience using a projector similarly if i am using a bar chart what does a bar chart show let us consider this bar chart it shows the growth of various companies in successive years so there are two axes x axis and y axis the y axis shows the years and the x axis shows various companies this is company 1 this is second company third company fourth company and fifth company so what does this bar chart reveal it clearly shows that company c1 and company c2 makes maximum growth in these five years whereas the third company company c3 makes a minimum growth in these five years and what about company c4 it makes an average growth so simply by just looking at a picture we can clearly determine which companies makes maximum growth which company makes a minimum growth and which company makes an average growth clearly so data can either be represented using bar chart or using a pie chart now let us have a look at the pie chart these are the three different products product p1 product p2 product p3 we are going to analyze total production of various products in the current year so this year product p1 is produced only 17 percentage in the same year product p2 is produced 22 percentage whereas product p3 is produced up to 61 percentage so the total production of all the products is represented as a circle and we can see that the majority portion is occupied by product p3 this clearly shows that out of the total production of the products majority share comes under p3 that means p3 is the only product which is having maximum production and p1 is the only product which is having a minimum production okay so in this way if pictures help us understand better if these pictures can be used graphically with the help of computer and helps a person to understand data in a better way they are known as presentation graphics the second application is computer aided design which is also known as cad now cad is a software which is used by engineers or architects now why do these people use cad softwares cad software is used for designing purposes what sort of designing purposes designing either a building automobile aircrafts or even space crafts what is the advantage of designing all these kinds of products this kinds of design helps in analyzing features and shape of the product that is if i am designing these products with the help of a computer aided design or a cad software it is easy for a designer to analyze the features of the product and to better understand the shape of the product now what is the peculiarity of ad or advantage of cad software see it is very easy for a person to design 
or to come up with new designs, multiple designs at the same time using computer technology. At the same time, if the person is not satisfied with the current design, he can easily change the current design and he can switch to a new design. So, there are two advantages. One, he can easily create more designs at the same time and if he is not satisfied with the current design, he can go for a new design. Okay. Now, why does a person is not satisfied with the current design? Maybe the product is not having the requirement which he needs or it is not up to the mark. So, he wishes to switch to a new design. Maybe he is not satisfied with the current uh, shape or features of the product. So, any kind of dissatisfaction with the current design can make him do the alterations in the current design and easily he can switch to a new design. This is only possible if the designing is done through these kinds of designing techniques. Okay. So, computers can be used for designing automobiles or these kinds of products also. Hmm? Now comes the third application, computer art. Now, what is the computer art? Computer art can be used for designing logos. Now, what is a logo? Logo is a pictorial representation or an emblem specially used to identify an organization or an institution. Okay. So, computer art is a special design computer technique which is used for designing logos or page designing. Page designing means designing the cover pages. Now, it can also be used for TV commercials or TV advertisements, morphings, doing any kind of morphing technologies. Morphing means changing from one uh, shape to another some an, some another form of changes any sort of changes uh, that means changing a person from uh, a human being to a animal or an animal to a human being any kind of change is possible so it is a typical transformation from one form to another form and animation series so all these kinds of artistic works can be done with the help of a computer then it is called a computer art now the fourth application is entertainment if computer graphics can be used for gaming applications or for developing movies or for de design developing serials or any kinds of animation series or cartoon series all these are done just for the entertainment purposes so if any application is created whose purpose is intended for entertainment it is known as entertainment so computers are uh, especially computers or computer graphics especially used for entertaining people the main uh, uh, portion of the entertainment comes under gaming applications so it is not that only games come, un come under this entertainment section movies uh, sports um, uh, other kinds of uh, animations cartoons all this come under entertainment section anything which can entertain a person okay so next application is education and training education and training is one of the important applications of computer graphics now what does computer graphics has to do in education you might have learned or you might have heard the term smart classes smart classes are computer oriented classes whose purpose is to explain various concepts in either school level or in college level okay so teachers prefer smart classes to teach newer concepts or complex concepts to students like working of a petrol engine or working of a biogas plant in such situations where teacher explains the theoretical concepts to people or students they uh, might they may or may not follow the concepts so if the same thing is explained with the help of a pictorial representation or even a fantastic demonstration okay in which you can clearly understand through animation series or through um, pictures that how actually the working of petrol engine takes place or how does a biogas plant work okay so these kinds of complex 
situations can be explained with the help of smart classes it is easy for a person to understand much better okay now computer graphics can also be used for training purposes also who are all these persons that means training captains loco pilots or even pilots now what is a captain why does a captain or loco pilot or a pilot requires uh, computer training okay why can't they be provided normal training so no, it is not possible you cannot give an aeroplane to a pilot and ask him to go for a ride and just learn the basics of a piloting training it is not possible so him they must be given an artificial environment an artificial situation where they have to undergo various critical situations which they might undergo in their future so once the training is completed in an artificial environment and all these persons are capable of using any kind of control powers which they might undergo in their future circumstances and they are ready to be fed in the real life situations only then they will be given the real uh, uh, life uh, objects for uh, their further activities so initially all these persons will be trained under artificial environments only so such artificial environments can be created using simulators so these persons use simulators where they will be given a large computer screen and in this screen the scenes dynamically change and these persons have to act according to the changing scenes in the computer screen okay only after completing the training in artificial environment they will be moved to a real life situation so computer graphics can also be used in educating students as well as for training experts next comes the application visualization visualization means scientists engineers medical experts and business business analysts all these people makes use of visualization what does the term visualization mean visualization means a uh, representation of data in a pictorial format representation of data in a pictorial format how can we represent see what is the need of representing data in a pictorial format for better understanding data it is very easy to understand data if it is represented pictorially how in the present scenario let us consider a geographical area this is a geographical area and it is subdivided into three parts this is the first division which is marked as red this is the second division marked as orange and this is the third division which is marked as green what does the red area indicate it is a hot spot and orange area indicates non hot spots green area indicates safe zone so what is the present scenario present scenario means in a geographical area some areas are more prone to covid situations covid 19 situations but some areas are less prone to such deadly syndromes and whereas some other areas are highly safe from such situations so all those area which are safe in a present scenario will be represented using a green color all those area which are highly risky areas will be represented by a red color and the areas which are at present a less risky area but in future if they are not pro- properly following instructions or properly following the uh, guidelines given to them they might uh, there there's a chance that they might have uh, uh they might turn into the situation where they also will be included in the red category uh, that means uh, highly risky category so in this way uh, a picture can be used uh, to represent which all regions come under risky areas which all regions are safe areas and which all regions come under less risky areas so in this way if the data is represented in the pictorial format for better understanding it is known as visualization now i used the term large volumes of data all these persons uses large volumes of data for study purposes now in this situation 
the, the in these geographical areas many people are living and the population may be in lakhs so lakhs of people's behavior uh, went on study the scientists studied all these behavioral patterns and only after studying these behavioral patterns they reached a conclusion okay so this is what is meant by a visualization now the last case is image processing image processing means modifying an image to improve its quality now where improve where is this image processing techniques used image processing techniques can be used to take satellite photos of galaxies why these photos may not have clear cut clarity in its uh, capturing while capturing so to transform these unclarified uh, pictures to a high clarity picture we can use image processing technology and the second case is uh, in medical field that is in laparoscopic surgeries image processing can be used where a small incision is made on the human body through which a small camera will be inserted and uh, using this camera doctors will be able to obtain a high quality uh, and an enlarged view of the internal section internal cross section of the body so that they can detail study they can have a detailed study of the internal parts and can do a master surgery okay so image processing can either be used in medical field or can be used in a scientific field so this is all about the various applications of computer graphics hope you all understood thank you